We know that Christmas is gonna look a little bit different this year for everybody uh, with smaller gatherings. And we are here today to show you how to bring some Christmas magic to your table. Uh, we have Amanda here from Meridian Ralph's Farm Market. And we have Laurel here from Arts Nursery. Together, these two experts are gonna show you um, how to dress your table for Christmas using live fresh greens, really neat garnishes. Amanda here has some really delicious food from Meridian Farm Market, Ralph's Farm Market, to show you um, how to dress your table with these beautiful, uh, with this beautiful greenery. So we'll jump right into it, uh, starting with Laurel to show you uh, the live greens. Hi guys, we are going to start with the greens portion of our table decorating and um, I think everybody is safely away and uh, apparently you want to see my face today. Um, however, I've only done the makeup from here up. Uh, that's okay, we will roll with it. We've started with just a green garland and we have them at Arts Nursery. I just took a 10 foot mixed garland and I just laid it out on the table. If you don't have garland or don't have access to, you can collect greens. Then what I did with this garland is I actually added in some more white pine. I really like the soft blue green needles of the white pine and so I'm messing up the table. I'm going to add a few and I just sort of tuck them in so that you don't see the stems. And then you can see a little bit of eucalyptus. I really like the aroma of eucalyptus. Um, you get this wonderful lemony scent to the pine and this lovely eucalyptus, this lovely um, herbal smell to the eucalyptus and just lay them in. You just sort of hide the cut ends if you can and truly have fun with this. Like you can fuss with it, just don't, don't get stressed over this. This is, this is for us that we're doing. All right, I've sort of got the elements in. We had some of these wonderful Christmas ornaments in. I picked a color theme and I sort of went with them. So they're just basically laid right in here. It's super easy. Um, you can see our candles that we made. Um, we did have to drink a few ciders from Fraser Valley Cider Company. But what I did was, I'll show you, Soak them, take off the labels, use what you've got. So if you've got bottled waters, whatever, as long as you've got a glass jar, that will work. I, you wash them off, you fill them up with water, you very carefully tuck them in. This, I've just got a sprig of Doug fir um, that I just, picked out from the nursery and you very carefully tuck it in here. You want your branches to be long enough, uh oh, you want them to be long enough that um, they're going to touch the bottom so that they don't float up. You take the pencil and you sort of tuck it in and then here's the thing, if you've cut too long a piece like I think I have, you can always get them back out and shorten the piece. So. You add a little bit of water to this. You cut your candle to fit. If you want to bring in some red, you can float some cranberries in there. And there you have it. So these ones I've used the seeded eucalyptus. You can buy that um, in branches like this. Um, cranberries work. Use what you've got. Don't get stressed. If you have some really nice branches, some of those lovely red twigs look absolutely spectacular. So if you've got some Japanese maples, red twig dogwood, let them donate a branch. Just to add a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of magic, are these little LED twinkle lights, these little battery powered twinkle lights. And they're not expensive, super easy. Um, we've got them here at Arts. Other places have them too if you're not close by. Um, just great 
little twinkle lights. It's, you just gotta add a little bit of magic, I'm just saying. Um, so I've woven the little twinkle lights right through here so we have a little wee bit of sparkle. Um, if you have some of those leftover uh, little candles from your pumpkins, you can use those too. Anything that brings a little bit of light, a little bit of sparkle. Then I've added a few little bits of baubles that we have theme it. So uh, if you love bunnies, you can work through bunnies. You can bring in birds, you can bring in pine cones. Uh, have a little bit of fun, change it up. The centerpiece was really easy. We just had this sort of riser, this birch riser. And what I've done is I've actually wrapped a little calibore from one of our other videos. It was blooming now. Um, you can wrap anything. You can wrap a poinsettia. Um, you can have fun. And I've done a little bit of a kokodama display. So I'm just going to pull it out. You can see the little battery lights that I've wrapped around it. A little bit of pine cones on the bottom. Uh, I've just wrapped it with moss, sheath moss and string. I made little place setting um, name tags with, with our names on. And I've used eucalyptus, but if you don't have eucalyptus, use any broadleaf evergreen. And I did a little bit of pine, eucalyptus and lavender. Um, and I wanted a little bit of sparkle, so I used a silver pen. They're so much fun. Um, and then I just had some leftover little baubles. So instead of the little, you know, wine glass jewelry, I thought I'd make one. Um, and we each have a little theme. Uh, so this one is lavender, this one is eucalyptus, and this one is pine. But it, you just have to have fun with it. So. Thank you so much. Next, we have Amanda and she's gonna work her magic. She is from Meridian Ralph's Farm Market and they have a lot of items for smaller gatherings. Um, so uh, Amanda, come on up and uh, I am so excited about the food part. So going with the theme that Laurel was talking about, use what you have. So you can create an absolutely stunning centerpiece with what you have in your yard or your home you can be creative and find things around your house. And it's the same thing for dinner. So we have prepared today some dishes to show you, ways that you can make them a little bit more exciting and presentable on your table. But really we wanna emphasize, use the things that you have around your home and be creative. It's a fun time to be creative. So this year, we know that uh, Christmas dinner is different for a lot of us. So it's gonna be smaller, a little bit more intimate, but that doesn't mean it can't be beautiful and tastes just as delicious. So we're gonna show you how you can create that in your home this year, make it an extra special year. We're certainly gonna remember it for years to come. So our first dish here is Brussels sprouts and I've already topped it with some Parmesan cheese right on top, so it's all ready to go here. So you can see we've added some risers here and we just took some things that we had around, nothing special or fancy for this meal, just what we had. And I would encourage you to do the same. Be creative, flip dishes over, find stuff that you like the way it looks. But when you have these risers, you can bring your food up and present it a little more off of your table. So this is our Brussels sprout dish. Our next one we have is a brown sugar maple sweet potato dish. And it is delicious, it smells amazing. So this one here, it's looking a little plain. We're gonna add a little bit of garnish to it. So when you're cooking your turkey, usually you add some herbs, so fresh herbs. So I just recommend save a few so that you can garnish your meal when you're done. And you'd be surprised how nice that makes your meal look when you add that extra little bit. So for this one, I've got some thyme here and I'm just gonna run my fingers down it and let it fall into the dish here. Cut off a few little sprigs, sprinkle them around, adds a little pop of color tastes great with this dish, not too much, don't want it to overpower the dish, but it adds extra little, just an extra little something when you put it on the table. And it smells really good too. So here is our sweet potato dish. It's got cinnamon in it too, it's really delicious. 
Okay, we have a creamed corn dish. This is actually a curry creamed corn. You can make it without the curry, but creamed corn goes really nicely with ham or turkey, so that's one of our favorites. And this one here, we don't want to change the flavor too much, so we're just going to take a little sprig of rosemary and just pop it in there just to make it a little bit more fancy. Over here, so we've already got our cranberry sauce. And this cranberry sauce, if you haven't had it yet, we have been carrying this cranberry sauce at Meridian for years. It is a customer favorite, staff favorite. We all love it. It's orange brandy. It is delicious with turkey. So that's what's in our bowl there. And we are just going to add, again, another little sprig of rosemary to that, just to fancy it up a little bit. And then we have our turkey breast roast. So these turkey breast roasts make the perfect meal for a smaller Christmas gathering. You can get them as small as two pounds or as big as about six pounds. And so again, we're just gonna use the herbs that came in the poultry um, seasoning pack. We saved some to put on the plate and it just gives it that extra fancy feel to your serving platter. And then, we have some cranberries, just fresh cranberries here. Another thing that works really great is pomegranate seeds or orange slices. We've got cranberries here, so we're just gonna add those on, add that nice pop of color. I mean, you can add these to any of your vegetable dishes or salads even really, but the red just looks so pretty on there. So here we have your table spread for you. We've got our gravy too, it's not in the gravy boat yet, but if you don't like making turkey gravy, just so you know, we do offer fresh homemade turkey gravy. It's made locally and it goes absolutely perfect with our turkey breast roast or our roast turkeys, the full turkeys. So that would be going in there. But just like that, you can turn your table into a beautiful scene for your family, a beautiful place to gather, it's okay if it's smaller this year, it's different, but it can still be wonderful. So Laurel is gonna come back on and she is gonna show you how to make a delicious Christmas drink cocktail using our Meridian Ralph's Okanagan pear juice. Really tasty, so she's gonna come back on and show you how you can whip that up quickly and it will go perfectly with your Christmas dinner. This year, when you greet your family before you enjoy this absolutely glorious Christmas dinner. Thank you, Amanda. I'm so hungry right now. You have no idea. Um, it's lovely to greet your family with a mocktail or cocktail. And, and look, when we get together again, you'll be amazing at this. So we've got this wonderful pear juice to work with. Uh, pear is a really nice neutral juice. I've spiced it up with a little bit of an acid so I brought in a lime and I'm just going to squeeze some lime in and I want to add another element and I'm going to add a little bit of a savory so use what you've got at home if you have mint muddle the mint up um, at the bottom of your glass or the bottom of your jug and you'll have a mint and lime and pear uh, mocktail. Um, if you have basil, it also adds a really interesting element to it. So use what you've got. So I'm gonna add the ice first. I'm gonna add a bit of the pear juice. I'm going to add the sprigs of rosemary. I forgot my muddler, so just pretend that I'm muddling the rosemary. Adjust the flavor of the acid to your liking. So I'm going to add in a couple of squeezes of lime. I'm going to add two for this amount. 
So that will translate to about a tablespoon of lime. And then I'm going to add my soda water. And then you have a beautiful and very, very simple and fresh mocktail. You can always add gin, which mine is going to have. But for the rest of you, it's a beautiful Christmas beverage.